Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Manisha here. I hope everyone's keeping well and safe wherever they are. I'm going to be doing a magical sparkly butterfly mani. I'm going to be using that beautiful Creative Shop plate. And I've got these polishes here. So I've got LA Colors. Um, I can't remember the name of it now already. I've already forgotten it, but I'll have it listed for you down below. I've got Wild About a Hue. That's Finger Paints one. And then I've also got a CAD stamping polish. This is a two-in-one stamping polish in this beautiful purple color, which is C16. And if I've got direct links for anything, of course I will leave them for you, but if not, I'll just list everything that I've got. So I've got some beautiful glitter and some iridescent flakies as well. The flakies are from Beauty Big Bang, and I have got a 10% 10 um, 10 discount code, which is M-A-N-I. I've got Moe London Sticky um, Stamper, Rectangle Stamper, and a Scraper. So on to the design, so I've already done a um, coat of um, base coat on my nails and I'm just going to be popping on one coat of the LA Colors polish and then what I'm doing is just basically dabbing on um, blobs of that other polish, you can just see what I'm doing there and then going straight back in with this one, now you can wipe your brush in between um, I chose not to because I figured these colours to me are very similar and I wasn't really worried about them mixing up but um, normally if they're quite different I would um, wipe my brush off before popping it back onto, I'm um, sorry, into the bottle just so you don't mix your colours up um, but now for my not I wasn't really worried anyway But this is a really easy way to sort of get a bit of a marbled or a mottled look with your um, your polishes rather than making lots of mess using a stamper um, I just prefer to do it this way sometimes if I'm in a bit of a rush or I don't care much for doing lots of cleanup um, But yeah, because I'm just using two colors. It was actually quite easy to do this effect and um, yeah The first two nails you saw me doing in real time this one I've just kind of sped it up a little bit. So the trick is just try and get that first coat on as evenly as possible, just like you would normally when you're painting your nails. And then that kind of gives you a bit of a base to um, pop the other color um, onto and kind of give that kind of effect. Now you're probably wondering, is this going to take ages to dry? It actually didn't. These um, polishes did not take long to dry, even though the polish looks like it's going on pretty thick. It actually wasn't that thick at the end of it. And um, I do use Sesh Feet, which is a fast drying top coat, so the money kind of did, um, didn't take too long to dry. So anyway, that's the base done there. Now when it gets to the touch dry stage, what I'm doing is popping on these beautiful iridescent flakies. And they just give a really nice sort of iridescent mermaid or unicorn sort of look to the nail. Um, I thought it would be quite nice to add a bit of glitter too because it just adds a little bit more depth to the, the design and a little bit more sparkle. Whereas the iridescent flakies at certain angles that you can kind of just see straight through to the base colour. But the um, glitter is sort of like a more of a solid element and so that's the reason I've used these two things. Now you can see I'm using the same um, applicator there for both the glitter and the flakies. Now normally at home you'd probably want to keep things separate but you know me, I just kind of use the same thing for both of them. What I'm doing is just using my um, finger, like I've got a clean finger there, I'm just kind of pushing the... Um, or should I say tapping them just kind of so they lay a little bit flatter on the finger um, and I was actually going to brush things off but I thought no what I'm going to do is actually pop on a coat of this water based top coat first allow that to dry and then what I ended up doing was just washing my hands and um, just ran them under some water really not even any soap or anything like that and that was enough just to take the extra flakies and glitter off the rest of my um, around my skin so that's the stage I've got to here now I'm going to do some nail stamping so I'm popping on some some liquid latex and this one's from Beauty Big Bang it's my new favorite liquid latex so I'm just going to pop that around the nails and let that dry it only takes like about 30 seconds to a minute at the most to dry and then I'm going to move on to the stamping so this beautiful detail plate from Creative Shop uh, it's plate number 137 I'm going to be teaming it up with that purple polish you saw at the start and I'm going to use that sticky stamper from Moe London. Now I love to use this stamper when it's an image that I'm not really worried about where it lands on the nail. Um, to keep each nail different what I do is I do tend to stamp in a different direction so um, for this index finger I'm just kind of stamping it on straight like that but then for the next nail I will actually, um, sorry that's my dog barking in the background, 
probably seen something outside um yeah for the next now what i'll end up doing is actually just turning the image around and stamping the image the other way around for the middle finger and that just keeps the um the design interesting and um, i just find it's it's always nice to have a little bit of difference between each nail rather than trying to do them all exactly the same because with these sorts of stampers it is hard to line things up and get every single nail the same so you're better just to not not try and get them the same better just to kind of go with it and do them differently so what i'm doing here is i've um, cleaned off off camera actually there wasn't hardly any cleanup to do because the liquid latex did such a great job and then any remaining polish i just cleaned off with a bit of um, sticky tape and then i'm popping on a very generous coat here of sesh feet i'm going to let that fully dry and i actually end up doing a second coat just because i um was going to wear this design for a few days and I wanted it to last a little bit longer but also just to kind of help smooth things out because when you're losing glitters and things like that your, your nails can get a little bit on the bumpy side and I really was laying it on quite thick but anyway this is the finished design here and I do hope you've enjoyed what you've seen here I really loved how this turned out and I have done it as a part of an Instagram collab so I will have pictures over there if you want to have a look I've got a direct link below and if you haven't done so already I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel it is free to do so there's a link coming up at the end of the video if you've enjoyed what you've seen i invite you to leave me a lovely thumbs up as well leave any comments and questions down below i'm happy to help wherever i can and just stay safe people sending my love out to you all bye for now